recording already? Um, it's just started recording. Okay. Welcome to me making Risley's wig as cheaply as possible. I'm just gonna jump right into it. So we're starting off with this cheap grey wig that I have. It's really old, but we're just gonna be harvesting it for wefts. What are wefts? Well, wefts are the lines of hair that help make up a wig. So we're just gonna cut off the stitching and harvest a few of these. We don't need too many, but I'm just gonna take a few because I can always come back and take more. For now, I'm gonna set these wefts aside and I'm gonna focus on my glued hairline. For the glued hairline, I'm gonna take a section of the wig I haven't cut off and apply some glue just to the end of it and smooth it out with my fingers. You can cut off the hair first and glue it. I know that that's what a lot of people do, but I didn't wanna make as much of a mess, so I glued the end first and then cut off the bottom in this zigzag motion so that it wouldn't be a straight line. And once you've done that, just give it a comb through to get rid of any loose hairs. I do recommend doing this over a bin though, because my carpet got very hairy. And if you don't like how the end looks, don't worry, you can always cut it into the exact shape that you want. And if you've cut too much off, just add a little bit more glue. I didn't want to buy a new wig, so this wig is actually the L wig from our spicy Death Note CMV. I deduced that Kira is homophobic. It's from Coscraft, not sponsored, but I love the wigs because they take a lot of heat. But what we're going to do is comb through it, separate the section that Risley has his parting, and I'm going to apply some steam to that. The reason I'm using steam is because the heat heats up the fibres of the wig, and then once it cools down, it will stay in place. You can also use heat of a strong hair dryer or ideally like straighteners, but a steamer causes the least amount of damage to the wig. This is only my third attempt at making a glued hairline wig because I usually favour lace fronts but I'm basically just hot gluing the sections along the front where I want them to go and then afterwards I trim them a little bit more into shape as well. I also apologise for my voice. I have just woken up. I edited this last night and now I am recording the voiceover first thing in the morning um, before I even get out of bed because I'm having a lazy day. I folded over some of those wefts to make a chunkier section and glued it all together and I'm just going to glue a section of it either side of his head, um, anywhere there's grey on a reference image because he has those like fake ear bits that are black and grey and that's what I'm making right now with that. In order to make it stand up what I'm doing is backcombing it, doing a spritz of hairspray, backcombing it a little bit more, you know, adding heat, letting it cool, things like that to try and get it to stay up until I am happy with the result. I also use my hair straighteners on a somewhat low temperature. I usually set them to 180, no more than, and I'm curling it up and trimming off any excess to get it to the exact shape that will sit right and again, match the reference image. When cutting wigs, remember to while you open and close the scissors, move the scissors up and down as well. It's kind of like a saw motion, I guess. Um, but this way you won't get any straight, sharp lines. Um, I do have more tutorials on my YouTube on just cutting wigs, basically, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on that. And then because this wig was so long, I had to go around the whole thing, just taking off a load of the weight. Um, by that I mean and cutting off the length of it because it was it was so long. With the grey bits on the front all glued into place as well, I then decided to just start trimming the bangs. The bangs are one of my favourite parts to do. Just be really loose and fluffy with them. You can apply steam, you can use hair straighteners, use what you need to get the shape that you want, but it is all trial and error. You can always reheat and restyle. Remember when it comes to applying heat, it will only hold its shape while it's cooling. So while it's hot, hold it in position, ideally do not burn yourself, and then once it's cool, you can let it go and it should stay. For the back of the wig, I decided I also wanted some grey back there, so I just lifted out a section um, and glued it together. I double layered the weft so that it would be a bit thicker, and then I glued it where you can see just along the previous weft that was in there. Since it was also far too long, I just did some trimming to make it blend in with the rest of the hairs and I added another layer underneath and did the exact same to it. You can also cut up into the hair to thin it out as well, which is something I did when I didn't like how choppy it started looking. You could also use thinning scissors if you have them. I did have them, they were just upstairs and again, I am quite lazy so... <laughs> But yes, that is how I made Risley from Genshin Impact's wig. 
If you want to check out our spicy Novelette and um, Risley CMV, you can do that for the month of December at www.patreon.com forward slash Romo CMVs. Or check out the Safer Work version on YouTube, which again will be released for the month of December. That is all guys, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!